I just want to be known as a, as a nice guy. Am I coming off like an ass? No. Good. All right, moving on. <laughs> Hey, what's up in style? I'm Jack Quaid, and you're watching this guy. Stacey Abrams, uh, that election would have gone a significantly different way if it wasn't for her getting out the vote, making sure people could vote in Georgia. Um, just, I don't know, I, I, nothing but the utmost respect to her. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be here in a post-Trump era without, without Stacey Abrams, so. She's all right. She's all right in my book. Oh God, I should not run for office. Um, but I guess it would be something like, might as well. And it would be like a photo of me doing this. Like, right? Try this other white guy out for size, I guess. I don't know. I think it's quality time for me. I, I, I do, I just value my quality time with, with a partner for sure. I don't know if I believe in love in first sight, but I do believe in like, I don't know, infatuation at first sight, I completely. Um, I feel like in order to love somebody, you kind of have to know, you can be attracted to somebody on first sight, but in order to love somebody, I have to like know that they're not a serial killer or the next Hitler, me personally. First album ever owned, uh, ACDC, Back in Black. I bought a CD when I was 13. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if I can swear, but uh, maybe I can. I can? Should have been swearing a long time ago. Anyway, ACDC Back in Black, it's awesome. Favorite rom-com, hard to uh, not say When Harry Met Sally, so I'm gonna say When Harry Met Sally. I am not on TikTok, no. I, I, I respect TikTok, I, I, I respect you, but um, I, I don't need another thing that takes my focus away from day-to-day -day life. I, and I, I have friends that love it and they send me things that are hilarious and I think the people on there are so creative and awesome. I just know I'm already like borderline addicted to Twitter and Instagram. So I can't add another thing into the social media gumbo that's controlling me. I can't do it. Yeah, that's a real 30-year-old thought. Yep, that's, a, that's my first 30-year-old thought, guys. No TikTok for me, I'm good. It's an old joke, but I just learned it. Um, man goes to the doctor's office. Doctor says, I have two bits of bad news for you. Uh, you have 24 hours to live. And the man says, oh my God. Uh, okay, what's the second bit of bad news? And the doctor says, I was trying to get a hold of you yesterday. It's dark, but I like it. Is there an outfit I regret wearing? Yes, yes there is. Uh, so when I was a kid, the laundry got mixed up a lot at my house, uh, and there was a moment where my mom and I were the same size of person, and um, I didn't know the difference between uh, a 40-year-old women's jeans and my own, so I would say about half the time I went to school uh, during seventh grade, I was wearing 40-year-old uh, mom jeans. Um, so I regret that, uh, yeah. Look, now it's cool. Now it's really cool. But back then, it, it, it was not. And I'm sure there was a lot of people who didn't tell me to my face, but were laughing at me. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Now, actually, you know what? Kids, go out there, buy all the mom jeans, flaunt it. Do what I couldn't do, please. People might know this about me, but I, I play guitar, I play piano. I, I'm really interested in music. I don't have a ton of musical aspirations, like I don't think you're gonna see a record from me anytime soon, but uh, it's just something I love doing on my downtime and I love making comedy songs. I love making songs that make you laugh. Where doesn't my mind go? I feel like uh, it's, it's, it's typically probably worrying about something, um, something coming up, something that might uh, be bad. I don't know, we live in weird times, so sometimes the anxiety, maybe that's less of a daydream, it's more of an anxiety dream, a, a walking anxiety dream. Um, other than that, it's usually pasta. The theme is pasta. I don't know if I took anything home from that set. Uh, memories, I guess. It was, I was so young, it was my first big movie. I 
learned so much. Friendships, picked up a lot of friendships. Uh, I still hang out with a, a lot of those guys, most notably uh, Jackie Emerson. She played Foxface, the tribute from, I believe, District Five. I'm so sorry, Jackie. It's been a while, but we're working on a, uh, a musical together about Mario. So hopefully that'll come out at some point once I get off my lazy ass, yeah. Uh, the last time I cried, I, I just got back into Queer Eye, and uh, that sh it's just great. That show's so good. I, I cry when people are happy, I think, more so than when people are sad. Uh, there's something about someone just kind of being completely lifted up in every way that is really emotional for me. Uh, yeah, it's happening. it's happening a little bit right now. Yeah, I love that show. <laughs> it's a good show. Ah, oh, man, the worst, the worst phase. Well, I'll tell you this. I mean, the pandemic was no picnic for anybody. I, you know, we've all been through this though. That's kind of been the comforting part of it is that all the feelings that I had during that time where I felt really alone and I felt uh, just so isolated from everybody that I loved, I, I knew that everybody else was, was going through that too, um, in some way. Yeah, it's a rough time, I'm not gonna lie. I, I once had a dream where I could fly, and it was amazing, but I could only fly about like six inches off the ground. So no matter what I hit, I was perpendicular to it, six inches. So if I like were to go up a mountain, I wouldn't crash into the mountain, I would go up it. Um, and it was really strange, because I had this really impressed, like I could, I could go really fast, but I, <laughs> but I was so low to the ground. I, it was, uh, I don't know, I want to turn it to a short story or something. I try not to Google my dreams. I, I don't want it to mean something bad. I'm too afraid of it. Um, occasionally I have, but every time I do, I always feel like the answer I get, I'm like, this could apply to any dream, you know? Or maybe I'm just not willing to believe. I don't know, but uh, it's definitely interesting. The dream community is gonna be after me. First thing I do when I wake up, it's check my phone, which is, it, it's bad, that's bad. Don't, don't do that, don't be like me. It isn't good for your mental health, your anxiety, for any of that. Besides that, I always just try to get a cup of coffee. I'm addicted to not coffee, but the act of acquiring one. I like the ritual, it's, it's the best. I like waking up early in the morning and grabbing a cup of coffee, it's like the greatest thing. And if I can be driving, listening to music while doing that, my day's made. I like being my age. It's a little weird, I'm 29, I'm on the cusp of 30, but I've always felt like I was kind of a 30 year old even when I was a teenager. I, I, I feel like I'm gonna be very comfortable at 30. Every person in their 30s that I know are just, are so awesome and so full of life, but they don't have that extra bit of anxiety or, uh, you know, they, they, they have their, they have it under control. And um, I look forward to maybe having it under control. Favorite pizza topping, pineapple. No, it, there's a, not a lot of love for the pineapple I've, I've, I've seen. Close second is a jalapeno. Just spices it up, makes it great. Favorite dessert, candy, just candy. I would go out with my friends and uh, I would be in the Uber home and I would ask the Uber driver to stop at the CVS and keep the meter running. And I would go into the CVS and just drunkenly buy just all the sour candy in the world. I love sour candy, I love sweet candy. And then I would take it back in the Uber, go home, and then the next morning I would wake up surrounded by like just piles of wrappers. For a while in my life, I was like a, I was like a sugar werewolf. I would like wake up and be like, what happened to me last night? Did I transform? Stay High by Brittany Howard. Uh, basically anything Brittany Howard does. Alabama Shakes, she had a band for a while called Thunder Bitch, which is incredible. But Stay High, I think, it's, it's just a beautiful song and it just makes me happy. Oh man, I'd love to play anything in the Star Wars universe. I, like, I grew up, that was my fandom as a kid. I, even before the prequels came out, um, my, I think my parents got me like the VHS box set of all three movies and I devoured them. Just, just devoured them. And literally, I, I can be 
the voice of a droid. I could be like a, a blade of grass in, in, uh, in a field. I don't care. I'll just put me in the Star Wars universe. I'd love it. My biggest adrenaline rush. Um, probably right before I took the stage at uh, San Diego Comic-Con when we were introducing the boys. It was, uh, it was really nerve wracking because we were Doing the show, we were putting it out into the world. Nobody had seen it, nobody knew what it was, but we had this massive crowd in San Diego and just hearing the fans uh, in that room and, and knowing how many eyes were staring at me was terrifying. Um, so right before, yep, the adrenaline kicked in. I think it saved me because without it, I think, um, I think you'd just go insane. I think you'd just collapse out there. Yeah, that's probably the most adrenaline I've ever experienced at once. I want to be known as uh, an, an artist, you know, and whatever I do. Uh, I want to be known as a writer. That's something that I haven't really done a ton of, um, but I want it to start happening a lot more. And I just want to be known as a, as a nice guy at the end of the day. I just don't want anyone to have a bad experience working with me or getting to know me. Thanks for having me in style. I'm Jack Quaid, and you can find me in Scream out now.